Hey guys, today we got something really cool. We're gonna use the microphone, no, not the microphone, microscope, to look at my friend Phil. Phil is a fly, he's a house fly. And I met him, mm, I don't know, three weeks ago, since he was just a little guy. Now, he's quite a bit bigger, but we're gonna take a look at Phil. He's agreed to get under the microscope for us, so we're gonna take a look, see what parts of the fly there are, and thank, thank you to Phil for, you know, joining us today. So let's get on over to Phil here. Phil? Uh, Phil? Buddy? Buddy? Phil sleeping. Have you ever tried naming all the different kinds of flies there are in the world? Let's see, we have house flies, horse flies, fruit flies. Is that all? Nope, not all. There are actually more than 125,000 different kinds of flies, and they're still counting. We believe we haven't even found all of them. Plus, flies can be found all around the world, except Antarctica. So it might take a long time to find every single different type of fly. The body of flies are typically short and made for flying. Obviously, the first section of the fly consists of its head, compound eyes, which are a lot of little eyes that work together, the antenna, and the mouth parts. They have four parts to their mouths. The second section of the fly is the thorax, which is the main body of insects. It holds the wings as well as the muscles they need to fly and something called the halteries which are organs that help the fly balance during flight. The last section is called abdomen. Get this, flies have a sensor on their feet that helps them taste food by walking on it. Isn't that crazy? Anyway, and they have claws and pads to help them stand on smooth surfaces, which is why they are able to land on our walls and ceiling so easily. Flies have a tendency to fly in a straight line for a while, then they quickly change their direction and continue to fly in a straight line again, only going a different way. The flies lock eyes on an object and shift its wings to turn, and it usually happens super fast. Flies fly very slow and can't fly for very long, which is why they land so often, but they have really fast reflexes so they can escape from danger. You might know this when you try to swat a fly with a fly swatter. And although most flies stay close to the ground, some are known to fly 2,000 feet high. Wow. Now that we learned about flies, let's jump into the microscope images I got. My buddy Phil is giving us a closer look at a fly, so thanks, Phil. This first image shows the fly upside down, and we are looking at what you might refer to as the belly. One thing to note is that just like other insects, there are lots of hairs on the fly. Not something you see unless you can really zoom in on a fly. Here is a leg of the fly that I tried my best to zoom in on. Since Phil was asleep, his legs were kind of hard to move around. The hairs almost look like spikes, and honestly, I don't know if they serve another purpose, but it looks kind of alien-like in my mind. Kind of cool. This is the eye of the fly, and it is a compound eye, which means in this case there are lots of little eyes working together to make a big picture for the fly. I don't know about you, but I think Phil here could use a bath. He's kind of dirty. This is the side view of the fly, and you can see some of the wings. I did not zoom in on the wings too much because it looks a lot like the wasp wing that I did a video on. Check my channel for a link to that video that I did on wasps. That was kind of short, but I did not want to spend tons of time with Phil because of his sleeping, of course. Anyway, thanks for watching. Remember, I have free math videos, worksheets, and math escape rooms for you and your class at magemath.com. Also, of course, I have the MageMath game you can buy if you want to support me in making more videos. See you guys next time.